it's Tuesday morning, carrying a huge box, I'll tell you what's in it in a second. Um, it's now day one of Lama, so kind of day two for me because I had a good look around last night. But I've got a cold head because I've left my cat in the car, but ironically, this box is full of hats. So if you want a hat, go to UTV or FCN. So I'm just going to walk around the big lake and then and I'll try and do some filming for you to see where it's not noisy and busy yet. Also, there's a little bit more from yesterday. You know, you've got loads of grass when you have a self-propelled mower. I've got a self-propelled mower though, but we just use it for cutting the lawn. <laughs> Let's have a look what else we've got here. NFU stand. Get yourself a brew there by the looks of things, tea and coffee, high vises, complimentary high vis, please take one. Thank you. There's a quiz question for you. What is that? If you think you know, let me know in the comments. It's actually next to guy we bought a generator off. So, P. Cowell and Sons up near Preston do generators. They're here as well. And see that? Hermos, I think they make Corvus buggies. That's the parent company that makes these generators. Carsha are here with the grey range, which means it's the professional range, which I think is what I need because it means that they're built a bit more durable than, than the one we've got, which is like a hobby one. So, it's a beast that. So Adam Hewitt, they basically sell salvage machines. So if something's been written off, they tend to auction it off, but, or accident damage. Oh yes, yeah, so that's been accident damage because you can clearly see there. But they have some bargains on the website. Thought it might have been able to see something like smashed up, but there isn't really. That probably could have been stolen and recovered because it's still in good condition. Oh, there's a McCormick just fired up over there. Not often you hear a tractor running at a show indoors. It's massive, isn't it? That big uh, this carrot. Oh, a little mini screener bucket. And a little star screen bucket. In fact, that's like the generator we used to have. That was a Pramac. Right. There's McCormick, there's a screen of buckets. John Moore, he, used to, he makes chipper teeth, I think. And then next to him, next to this 6155R, FJ Dynamics, but Gamba Poultry Litter, so that's who we saw. So they're, apparently they're gonna have biscuits and pens and mugs tomorrow, if you wanna go and find them and do a deal on some poultry litter. That's what the AD plan. Yeah. Finished. Look how big the bottle is. I know, you can camp out. I've got feels smaller than that bonnet. <laughs> but you see, even like it looks so much bigger on the outside, but actual visibility from here is actually really. Yeah, it's like really it's cool. angled, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you do see. Like, and again, your exhaust. Can you see from your driving position? Your you can actually see it, even though no, you're on no. the outside, and your air breeder is hidden behind that pillar as well. Then. Yeah, yeah. Because then pillars are so fat, you don't yeah. see it. <laughs> it spins around the seat oh, as well, which is nice. Also, yeah. New subwoofers in here. No, oh, just what you need. So all you can have is rave in the middle of the day. Oh, he needs that. Wake him up. Proper, Even look at your visibility down to your hitch. I know, I was just looking at that then. You can see right now, can't you? You can actually see the drawbar pin from here if it fell out. <laughs> so where's Ian with a K? <laughs> Kian. So he reckons, go on, do it. If he stands like that, he's putting more force on the ground than that tractor's putting on the ground. And how heavy is that? 31 tonnes. 31 tonnes? Yes. 31 tonnes. 33 and a third, because everybody that's yeah. watching wants to see it, I might as well say it. <laughs> Trust me. It is a monster. And you can get wider tracks, though, can't you? Yeah, I think they're nearly on the limits. Are they? Yeah. So this is 2.997 wide, so it is on the outer limits of road legality. Like what are they, though? Are they 6 ten, six fifth? Uh, no, 7 10? I'll say it somewhere here. I don't know what they're on. I haven't even looked at it yet. It doesn't say it. Oh, it might be on the inside. Have they put the valve on the inside for blowing yeah. them up as well? Yeah, can you just leave down the tyre pressure there, Ollie? <laughs> just quickly. That's got a, a real wide front on it, actually. You don't normally see, because they normally have the header on, don't they? This is the new one, isn't it? CR11. Guards locked. 
How would the guard be locked? Tom's here. He's finished washing his tractors. <laughs> That's a hell of a spout on it, isn't it? Just looking how that works up there, how it meshes together. Because mine jams sometimes. JCB here, look at them ramps. A strong box section now, isn't it? That's true, isn't it? No, them bits there. Oh, yeah. I know it, I know the the force is down like but you think that'd have to be braced to that, wouldn't you? Four three five S. Is that even bigger still? Yeah. Imagine if they put the wrong one on the ramps and squashed it. I didn't realise Wessex did bail on rollers. That's that little flail we had on the Solace. Polaris are here. The JCB stand, everything is so polished. <laughs> look at that, that you can tow that behind the car, that little tiny one. Fits in your hand luggage, look. There's Greg, where's the brownies? This, they've actually got one over there on a trailer, see? The idea, if you're a builder, you can tow it round behind your pickup because it's so light, but it's got like a four metre reach. Full width cab, little ball litch on the back so it can tow its own trailer. Just want to like put a key ring on it and put it on your car keys. Fast track, is that a 24 metre spray? Yeah, 24, yeah. yeah. Beast. Fill in the stand. I think it's so shiny though, isn't it? That crew cab Unimog. And then a Merlo green one, chipper on the front. That is cool, isn't it? That is proper cool. I do love the colour of the McCormick's though next door. Bit of music playing out, well there's the clay, is it a terror star they call it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a spading machine with a, a double D packer on the back. Is it? This is what I need a mould to make these in my Keenan. Or them. I just have a look at this bale trailer because it's proper cool. It's got a steering axle. And that would be mint. And it's got its own ratchet straps made into it, not for lifting concrete. New model, MP18, what MP means? Multi-purpose, maybe, because it's like a dump trailer, but quite a big dump trailer. And then the beastie, beastie muck spreader. And, wow, look at the axles on that. Two steering axles, suspension, rollover sheet. That is a well spec trailer. I'm the extreme wear. Oh, hard ox. Multi purpose, yeah. Size of them discs. I'll put my hand next to them for scale. That's a beastie John Deere in that video, but it's not. Is he going to show you it again? Or we have to sit and wait. It was a, there you go. Like a quad track deer. Bedna, got the car through here as well. So it's a dryer, a bit like ours, that we need to put a new auger in it because it's, is it 14 years old now? Or we need to refurb the auger on it. Shiny that, isn't it? Got some lettuce equipment. That's like another spader, isn't it? Tom's a massive Rogator fan. But he also but he also Agrifac, but he also wants a Rogator. 
But really, you should get a Bateman because they're over there. Yeah, so that didn't fit in yesterday's video because it already ended up long. But anyway, there's a bit more from today. Just dropped them hats off now on UTV. Yeah, I thought, hey, I recognise that tractor. So you want to try that? Try scanning that off the telly. And win one of them. And let's go and have a look at the fence. We get a proper look yesterday. I've been drawn over to this Valtra before the fence, actually, because it's metallic green. And years ago, when we ran Valtras, like all Valtras, I always used to get them metallic green with 50k. When 50k was the thing, now it's pretty standard. But I think it actually looks better than that orange one. In fact, if I back up, you can see. I'll let you know which you prefer. <coughs> Big S series there. I don't like that Valtra spaced out on the bonnet though. I think it's, you know, I think it looks a bit silly. It might grow on me though. Bronze one. Go on in. They just bought that crate, isn't it? So. Shiny, shiny 724. Have you got any 728s here? Oh, yeah, there's one over there. Team meeting, we'll go back to that. The shiniest, shiniest combine you've ever seen. Look, they do look stunning in black, but I just know that once they've done a day's work, black just attracts every single bit of dirt, like, like cars. Black car, you can't keep them clean. Oh, see this, this here, this Macdon. Rape Swaffer. So Johnny that fixed the Merlot the other day, he put that together. So it comes, must come over from America in bits. And they, Malpas built it up, ready for this show. There you go, Malpas stickers on it, actually, look. And that's for picking up, picking up the rows afterwards, so it, Chops the OSR, puts it on the floor in a row. Leave it to, there you go. Leave it to wilt and die. And then you pick it up then with something like that afterwards. So you're gonna. Oh no, I thought there'd be more pictures of that working. They obviously make the flex head is a bit like our Convio. Got a demo zone here, got an orange valter in it, a couple of JCBs. That must be what they're doing. Malone Tedder as well. There's Mikhail. Lots of, lots of green machines. Baylors, straw choppers, wrappers. Square bale wrappers. Round bale wrappers. So this guy, who his name I've forgotten already. <laughs> Brody. Brody has never been out of Cornwall until today. This no, is the third. Devon. 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 What's Devon. the difference? They're pretty much the same place. Same place to me, yeah, yeah. So he's never been out of Devon. No. Devon. Cornwall. I don't know. He's never been out of it before until today. No idea, man. And he wanted to be in the video. Yeah, we want to be in the video. No. Are we in the video? So what college are you from? Bits and College. If I, on, uh, if I go on the YouTube, I see me on there. <laughs> so what's this? The new YouTube channel? No, you look him up and... Oh, and it's these two twins who's got a YouTube video. channel. There it is. Check it out if that focuses. It's it's an inflatable space heater, like little Mr. Man. Do you have them in Ireland? Yes. Have you got three of them? They're called wacky inflatable arm flailing tube men. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say you got three. We're just outside five guys who've just been ripped off for our tea, but Martin got it anyway, so Martin got ripped off. Yeah, James, Martin please, ripped he off. sells Grange machine. Yes, I do. Yeah. There you go, yeah. Anyway, the, um, Charlotte and, I forgot her name, uh, Charlotte and um, Sammy. Sammy. Hello. Are, are going to do the, Sammy, not the, the birthday tractor. bumper. They're going to do tr three, three each. Three each. So off you go. Right. Happy birthday to Caitlin Clark. Happy birthday to Ollie Milliken, who's 18. Happy birthday to Matt Crawford. Happy birthday to Louise O'Neill. 
happy birthday to Tom Mortimer. 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 Alec Kemp. Matt Crawford. I done Matt. Oh, Caitlin Clark. I done. Well, you done Caitlin. Oh, well, I think we think we've done them. So happy birthday, <laughs> yeah. everyone on there, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed Lama. Might be a little bit more to show you tomorrow. Probably should have rehearsed that. So, yeah. see you later. If you